We are at Pensacola with the road course configuration where drivers will head into the infield of the super speedway for nine laps around the 5.3 mile course. On the pull for today's event is Eric Holson. To his outside is a 32 of Murray Upton. Third is Jacob Buchholz. Fourth is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Running out the top five is Stephen Colin. The rest of the qualifying order on the left side of the screen. This track took a one-year break to fix some issues it had with the Season 5 race. But now we're back in the Pensacola Road Course. And here we go. Green flag is out. We're racing. This is usually the part where the driver get most spread out. In three, three wide with a 33, 3, and 0, 2 as they head into the road course section. 3 by 3, but it's all behind Eric Olsen, who goes a little bit wide. That'll leave room for Jacob Buchholz. It'll have to catch up to him. This is the 17 up to second, the 12 way wide up the racetrack, and here we go for the lead. Buchholz is there, right on the back bumper of Eric Olsen. I think Olsen might have had a bad corner that time. Now Buchholz is going to have an opportunity to pull to the inside, but he doesn't take it. He's waiting for the right moment. So we go through the bank section. Murray Upton a little bit lower than the two leaders. And there's another spot they can get caught up. Looks like everyone got through pretty much clean. As they head out of this section. It'll be four cars under a blanket heading into the super speedway. Now, it looked like the 17 could have pulled inside there, but I believe the 32 said otherwise. Either that or he had a bad corner. Had to check up a little bit. But now he's got help from Murray Upton. He can catch the 86 this lap it'll put him in a better position but no the 32 is going to pull to the inside the 17 is going to block here he's going to get him so to the inside goes Jacob Buchholz and now it'll be Murray Upton taking it down low. And three wide for Stephen Colin, but he thinks otherwise and pulls back in behind the 32. And look at the 12. He makes a daring move three wide on the 17. 12 is now outside. He just lost a bunch of positions there. He had to make that work in such a short amount of time. Because that move isn't really one that you can stick to and pass a lot of people. Peace and battle back there. It's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. trying to make his way back into the top five. But right now it's Murray Upton, Steve Colin. The 32 of, or the 17 of Jacob Scholes, 86 of Eric Olsen, and now we've got a battle for the lead. The 25 goes inside, but is not able to seal the deal. The 32 shuts it off. 
We're just going to have another opportunity right here. But he's in the outside lane, heading into that corner. The 25 is right on the back bumper. The 32, he's going to try again this time as we head into the oval. I'm not quite sure what it is, but these guys, they when they get to the inside, exiting that section, they have to check up. And there, there's plenty of room, too, so I'm not quite sure why that happens. Eric Olsen is just under the top three. Now Joshua Harrison and Dan Harrison before we're going to take that same spot. But they file in back behind the 17 of Jacob Pujols. have to settle for 5th and 6th respectively. Pujols is going to try again to the inside of the 86. But right now, Colin gunning down the 32 of Murray Upton. Oh, the 86 nearly gave the 25 a shot going to the corner. But is that going to allow the 17 to make his pass? It's not going to. As they bounce off each other back there, the 12 and the 86 believe they made contact. And look at that, the 82 went way wide that corner. Looks like everyone... Still making it through clean. Here's the order right now. As it's Dan Harrison trying to go to the inside. Eric Olson. But he'll be on the outside for the bank portion. Is he actually going to use that to his advantage? No, he almost gets run off the racetrack and into the uh, grass. And he actually does. He's in danger of being passed by Joshua Harrison now. As they go into a relatively banked portion. And he's in the grass again. Now that portion back there, it's, it's, it's somewhat banked, but not as banked as the... The one before it, they're almost going three wide, exiting the course. Colin has kind of fallen off, and the gap has grown between Upton and Colin. But that's where they're going to have to use that heavy braking zone entering the road course section to their advantage. As you see him slowly catch up. Not quite slowly anymore as he's basically there by now looking to the inside. As they'll go side by side. Can the 86 use this to an advantage? Twenty-five gets inside. Upton back to third. Olsen takes over second. Oh, look at that. The five was sideways back there. Gives up his position to Dan Harrison. And the six also goes wide. But now, Upton trying to take his spot back. Or one of his spots back. From the 86... Eric Olsen. It's going to file him behind him. Right now, Colin, Olsen, Upton, Uchols, and Harrison as your top. So top five right now. And Colin seems to be pulling away basically from the 86. As they go through uh, an S's type. 
pair of corners. As they get ready to head out. And there's a battle brewing up here between Murray Upton and Jacob Bouchols. That 17 right there. Colin continues to lead, just five laps to go. So we're halfway. And the 86 has fallen back to fourth now. And the 17 trying to take second away. As they make the long, the hard left hand turn. They battle side by side down the hill. But Murray is going to be able to get the advantage here. As the 17 goes wide. He's now in danger of being passed by the 86. But he pulls ahead. Fitzwater looking for a top five spot on Dan Harrison. That was Josh Harrison. Speaking of these two, they've they've run back to back basically all race. Fitzwater way up the track. In the grass almost. As it doesn't look like we've had too many problems this race, which is good because the last race we had here in this series was a complete disaster. As there were upwards of six or seven wrecks. Some of them bizarre, really, where they just turned right on the straight. And spun out so luckily we've got that all fixed and Stephen Cullen continues to be your leader and this wasn't the Pensacola road course we'd, we'd be saying that he has it in the bag right now he's got a second and be more than three tenths of a lead but anything can happen here especially in this part 17 looking for second looks like he'll get it But they still battle side by side. They go almost sideways there. Mutrols takes it. But Murray Upton not done yet. He goes to the inside. In that corner. But isn't able to make it work. Fitzwater has found his way up to fourth now. As he's gotten by Joshua Harrison. As they run single file throughout the pack. Quick run down to the field where they're all running. And something did happen to Scott Upton. He's behind. But it doesn't look too significant since he doesn't have damage. At least from what I saw. So Stephen Cullen is running away with this thing. I'm pretty sure he's got an even bigger gap of the 17. 
of Jacob Bouchol's, so. We'll have to do their best. But it seems like these two have broken away from each other, the 17 and 32. So, maybe that's a good sign for these guys to catch up to the 25 if they want to. Because they definitely weren't going to do it running side by side. As it's now over a two second lead for Stephen Colon. So he'll have to make a major mistake if anyone else wants to uh, win. Because now here comes Murray Upton for second. Harrison almost thought about going three wide. But is he, thun is he done thinking about passing the 32? 32 a little bit wide. Not quite. He goes right in behind, but the five is there. Trying to take over second. Gonna try again this time. To no avail. So we'll see if we can get a good idea of the gap between these two. Second and first. The way of the spectator camera. Yeah, that's that's how big it is. And now there's that's this is their chance to catch up. It seems like they're a little bit closer. As we come to two to go, oh, the gap it's, a, it's opened. See how they clock in at the line. It's actually shrunk, so it's back to about what it was before, at around lap six. So is this a sign that the 25 is falling off a little bit, or the 32 and 5 are gaining speed. But either way, they're running side by side, going into the road course section of the track. Thirty-two way wide. He nearly gets the grass. He'll lose four spots there. Let's see how they run that corner. 17 probably had the best run out of all of them. And now can he pass Harrison? He's going to try again, but he doesn't do it. The tough passing area right there. It's possible you see them go to the inside, but it's pretty difficult. As they go into one of the biggest straightaways, not including the, the one in the oval portion. Just can Joshua Harrison run down the 25 before it's too late? And he also has the challenger, the 17, of Jacob Bouchols, who is also trying to pass him. And possibly saying that he can catch the 25 himself.
as we head to the white flag. May have closed a little bit. We'll see for sure right here. It's under a second. So can Jacob Schultz and Joshua Harrison run down the 25? 17 going to get second here. And they're right there. Schultz. Oh, let's see. He's there. He's to the inside. As they go side by side for the lead on the final lap down the hill. And the 17 takes over. What a move by Jacob Buchholz. But is it over yet? This is another one of these passing areas that these drivers can take advantage of. If one of them have a bad corner. It looks like the 17 runs it well. Runs it deep. So now it's just a game of where are they going to be able to pass. Twenty-five gained some time, but loses it immediately as soon as they entered the bank turn. Now this is another catch, catching point. Twenty-five looking inside. Trying to get some clean air off the 17. It's down to just a car length between them. Colin, can he take back his lead? Runs right behind Jacob Bouchols in the 17. He's there. But can he complete the pass? Two final corners. Twenty five ran first all day, but it's gonna be the seventeen of Jacob Bouchols and the seventeen Chevrolet taking away at the last minute. As here he comes across the line, Jacob Bouchols is gonna win at the Pensacola Road Course with a steal. What a pass. He made on Stephen Cullen at the end to get the win. And that's a heartbreaker for Cullen. He was the most dominant car by far. He led the most laps. And once again, got it stolen from him at the end when he mopped up a turn, turn three a little. Here are the finished results for the Pensacola Road Course. Jacob Bouchols first. Second is Stephen Cullen, very close, but no cigar. Third is Joshua Harrison, who ran up front all day, but Owen Miles showed flash of brilliance, was able to get a fourth place out of the day. Zachary Fitzwater ran consistently within the top ten and was able to get a top five from it. Murray Upton fell back to six after being one of the two cars in the top two, basically. And Dan Harrison, seventh. Eighth, Austin Murray, who was uh, pretty much there all day. Ninth, Joe Jefferson, and tenth, Jose Mills, who were to cling on to a top ten spot. Nothing to where these guys were in the focus for Bal for the lead, but able to get a good point stay out of it. Once again, every race leading up to the final one counts. As let's go ahead and see what happened to Scott Upton. As there's there's a brief point where the rest of the finish goes off on the left side of the screen. So let's see what happened to Upton. Oh, he does have damage. He has side damage.
So he's around the 20 and 22. Oh, he rubbed the tire barrier. So that's what that was. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. So that's how the 31 of Scott Upton got his side damage. And then ultimately put him off the pace for the rest of the race. So that'll do it for race number four of the Android Cup Series Season 7. Let's take it to victory lane with the, fifth, the 17 of Jacob Bouchols. Thank you for watching the Android Cup Series. We'll see you next time.